Hello and welcome to another episode of Nerf News, your number one source for Nerf news on the net. I'm your host, Drak, and today we're talking about this. This is my final leak for today from the same anonymous source. It is still not web ready despite all of my attempts to make this image web ready. It still just isn't there. So we're going to force it through the YouTube machine anyway. What is this blaster? This blaster is the new upcoming Elite Disruptor. Now, this is exciting because I love sidearms. Particularly, I love revolvers. Now, the Disruptor is certainly a revolver, almost definitely a Springer style blaster because it is MSRPing at $12.99 United States dollars. That's 13 United States dollars. That is less than the price of a hammer shot and around what the strong arm costs. So speaking of the strong arm, it looks a lot like a strong arm, doesn't it? Now the barrel is a little bit different. The barrel is forward and exposed through here, which means that reloading through the bottom of the cylinder is going to be easy. It does appear to have a uh, slide similar to the Maverick and the strong arm. Um, a few people have told me that it looks a little bit like a stockade. Um, and then I personally thought that it looked a lot like a snap fire. But that's because I believe that these images, because of the way that they had to be sent to me, have been compressed um, horizontally. So. I am no longer certain, despite the fact that I really, really want there to be short darts for better accuracy and performance, I believe that this image truly needs to be stretched out this way a little bit, giving us a full-length dart uh, turret here, or cylinder, turret is the wrong word technically, but you guys get what I'm talking about, for the disruptor, and that puts us kind of where I think that the blaster will be, which means that it's going to be about the length of a strong arm. So the question becomes, why make a whole new blaster with a slightly different shell that seems to be like it will be priming as though it were a strong arm instead of just making more strong arms? Well, my suspicion is that as a partial reaction to the Nerf community being so into 3D printing cylinders that expand the overall capacity of these cylinders, I think that, that Hasbro may be coming to answer as quickly as their timeline allows and this could be an eight or nine shot revolver. Now, with this being the only image I have is a straight on shot and no way of really measuring how many barrels are in here, just this orange fuzz, this orange fog of war here, this pixelated mess that doesn't tell us a terrible lot. All I can do is be left to guess, and I'm guessing eight shots because even numbers are pretty simple for, for blasters this size. It could very well be nine. Um, but I don't think it'll be quite as many as the, the stockade or the elite barricade itself. It reminds me, again, a lot of the Snapfire 8, so I'm shooting for 8 just because that's where my heart lies. But that is possibly the most exciting leak that we've had today. I just love elite blasters. I love the overall styling of them, and I love their really solid performance-based, gender-neutral, tactical style of blaster. I'm also very excited that up here at the top, it looks like we will have some sort of tactical rail. That is excellent. I'm disappointed that, again, we have no in-strike barrel attachment, but neither does the strong arm and neither does the hammer shot, so it makes a lot of sense to me that they're keeping with that sidearm feel, but uh, no doubt that this will be a holsterable, uh, probably competitive sidearm. I would love it if it killed the strong arm itself because I just don't like the strong arm at all. I think that it's fragile and I hope that this isn't a renamed reshell of the strong arm because that would be terrible. I'd be very, very disappointed. But I'm looking forward to it. It looks like it'll have that sweet, sleek, elite shell and hopefully it is a high capacity revolver. But as always, the thing that I'm most interested about in these Nerf news and speculation videos is not my own opinions. They've been rattling around in my head for hours. But your opinions. I would love it if you would share your thoughts, your feedback in the description box below. Let me know if you think that this is going to be uh, closer to a Snapfire 8 or closer to a strong arm. As far as the stockade goes, all I really think is that this will be smaller than that. And at an MSRP of 13 United States dollars, there's no way this thing's taking batteries. Just hard for me to believe that it will be an electronically powered blaster, but wow, that would be cool too. I'd love an electronic revolver. I think that that would be awesome, but we are not there yet. We've had it in a few RC uh, Nerf blaster type things in the past, but 
Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this leak. Tomorrow is a wonderful and fabulous SEMC war. I will be making lots of content there for you guys. And then I leave on a business trip very soon to meet up with a toy client um, for the next couple of days. So I've got plenty of videos all stocked and loaded to launch at you during my absence from the workshop. But very excited to share those with you. Super duper privileged, humbled, and impressed that I got to share these leaks with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. Much love. Nerf on. Drek out.